Hello and welcome to Flinthook, which is a 2017 tribute game. Um, no, it's a it's a Metroidvania-y, roguelike-y, hookshot-y, stylized, great fucking music, and a very satisfying intro. Um, I'm going to delete my old profile. Yes, I didn't get very far on that. It's fine. Uh, we'll do a new game, and I will show you from the start what this game's about. Hopefully with a tutorial. Sorry, the music. Oh, I love it. Uncover the ghost ship's legends in the lore section. So, Flintock, you players, um, this little guy, and you see that star, that star is my mouse cursor. You know, it's my mouse cursor is very high sensitivity for this game. Uh, w is a jump. Depends on how long you hold it, the higher you jump. You got left and right, and you got looking, and that's about it, really. So we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna pick up our quick hook. Ta-da! And now you'll notice my cursor's gone a bit more solid. Uh, and if I right-click, I can throw the quick hook. So you get the ability to grapple in this game. There's no holding, you just grapple to points. And so it's a fast-paced grapple game where you have to really sort of look where you're going and predict it. I'm just going to slightly lower my mouse sensitivity if I can. Uh, no, it's worth a try. Um, status. Ooh, this is me. This is me. So yeah, you play as this puppet man. And doors have hooks on them, and it's stylized and cute. And you can grab stuff like money and stuff. <laughs> it's a good fun game, seriously. And you can see here there's like even some lore behind things, which is really interesting. But it's a it's a pirate game. Because obviously every good game has pirates. But yeah, it's sort of a Metroidvania. Every um, sort of path has its own exits. But then you also have weapons, like your Blasma Pistol. Not a Plasma Pistol, a Blasma Pistol. I killed him. Woo! So you've got this sort of tile-based uh, movement, which is really nice. And you've got to be good at doing your fast hooks, because if you don't, you basically will fall in and die and fail. So if you're not quick with the brain, it's a bit tough. But we also have our Chrono Buckle, which helps with the quick brain, which allows you to slow down time. So if you're not all there in your brain, you can slow down time. It also helps you solve puzzles like these lasers. And there you go. Um, there is wall jump as well, as you can see, which is very nice and tasty if you ever want to wall jump. And you can see as this goes on, it's sort of like a steampunky pirate castle them up. It's satisfying, like the hook, I love it. Very satisfying. Uh, there's also sub weapons, like a bomb. So if I press Q, I can throw bombs. There we go. Got my coin. Time to leave. And you build a combo based on the speed in the bottom right hand corner. You can see that there. There's my combo. Um, the bells. Toggle the bell blocks. That's a bit of a Mario, that one. But it's good fun. I love this game. I really do. It's such a fun little game. So you lose your combo when you take damage. So it's almost a uh, Devil May Cry-esque concept of damage negation. Let me cross this quickly. There we go. And I beat the room. So I got a chest. Hooray. Upper right hand corner you can see there's a map as well. Which is very helpful. Um, and we got more stuff. And another bomb. 
Great, I will take that. That's going to be useful. Whee! And there's our uh, wizard. Ooh, they summoned a chest. So we'll grab our compass. Our compass is cute. It's a goo compass. Uh, feed enough ghost gems to this little guy and he'll guide you to your bounty in no time. And we'll open this chest. Go on. And what's this? It's our first bounty! Whose flag is this? And you mash to unscratch it, so to speak. You've got Bad Billy Bullseye for 3,000 gold. Unblinking leader of the hardcore clan. So we're sort of a bounty hunter, treasure hunter, pirate, ghost, blob, child, with a hook. Shot. <laughs> it's very hard to explain, but it's great fun. It's great fun. It's an evil wizard. Ooh. Yeah. I think once upon a time, a long time ago, I tried to do a stamp it on this game, but it was actually quite hard for me to do so because so much is going on, I could barely talk while playing. <laughs> but it is brilliant fun, and that's what matters. There's a cute little chest there with feet. Uh, so we're gonna move on. Here we go. We're gonna play um, as ourself. Yep. And we've done the tutorial, so now we're gonna do Bad Billy Bullseye. So you can equip some perks. Here's how it works. You collect treasure, rank up, and gain a pack of perks. Equipping perks uses up slots in your perk meter. You get more slots in the back black market. Basically, you get the equipable roguelike stat type thing. So. Here are some of the perks that I have, and I can equip them over here. So, health ones, you know, Pirate Zing, you get more HP, know-how, things like that. So, like, I could get more XP, or more chance of hitting crit hits in my eye. So, I'm going to go for more XP, because that's useful. I'm going to go higher chance of crit hits, and I can't go for any of these other ones that give me more HP. But that'll be okay, because I don't think I need more HP. Yeah, I should be fine. We've gone for the damaging start. Let's see how it goes. And then you've sort of got the destinations for your next raid. So they've all got a difficulty of one. And you pick your type of ship. So I'm going to pick this. Uh... So this one's got a platoon on board. So there's more enemies. This has got a salon. And this has got treasure. Let's go for treasure. So you sort of get to pick how you go ahead. Which is pretty cool. Um, but it's got a really nice style. Like, you know how some games are stylized and it's like a minor thing? This just goes all in and it forces you to accept it, and I kind of love it. That and the music is fucking outstanding. Whee! Sorry. Okay, enemies in the room, we're good. These are like little flies. They're uh, quite weak. This guy's got a gun. My Metroidvania skills are strong. Use the bullet dodging. <laughs> and I'm at a combo of 16. Oh, a barrel. It had gold inside. And what's in here? Money. Uh, these missions are time-based as well, which is an interesting thing. Um, so it's not just based on how quickly you accomplish the rooms. There is a timer going as well. And the quicker you complete each level, the more um, sort of score you get at the end, which comes in handy. There we go. So we'll go up here. Uh, that's a laser. Oh, God. Yeah. So they're lasers that if you uh, stay in front of them, they damage you. But once again, this is so fast-paced, you've just got to be instinctual. Which is really nice. I like an instinctual game. You know, it's quite an interesting one, actually. Um, 
the range on your gun is not that high, so I gotta be careful. Oh god. I think if I stand on these, I'm gonna get squished. Oh, I can't duck. Shame. Here we go. What did we get? More money and a bomb. Good. Bombs would be useful. Let's keep going up and see what we find it up. Alright, this one's just money, which is good. Hold on, there's a bag of gold here. Aha! Details! Keep going up. What we got? Ah, hello. Shop, I presume. Pirate's Grit. Become invincible for a few seconds after receiving damage. Well, whether I wanted to kind of buy that or not, I have. Pirate's Pep. And Space Meat. That must heal me. Okay. Well, we've learned something. Can I smash this gold pot over here? I can. It's not robbery. It's just, um, stuff. Bye. Let's head right. This is a nice Metroidvania type feel. It is. I don't have a better way to describe that. Hmm. Is that loot? Yeah, it is. Cool. Aha! Oh my! Okay, didn't expect that. Get me my loot. Keep going right, let's see what we can find. Okay, this is the bats, so they're alright. And there's some cannons on the roof I've got to be careful of. I can see that immediately. There we go. Oh god, now we got the mosquitoes. Woo! I'm, I'm very into this game. It's, it is... It is a nightmare, but I love it. Stressful, basically, yeah. I don't... I, uh, I'm 15 minutes in, and I love it and hate it at the same time. My blood pressure's increased quadruple fold. But it is so goddamn fun. You know, like, I got this, like, brilliant soundtrack just coercing me to play more and more by the second. It's it's quite mind-boggling. I'm going to go and deal with these fuckers. Hold on. We'll jump up. Because I'm at 60 out of 100 HP. I've got a good amount of HP right now, so it don't really matter. Yeah, fuck you. That'll help me out at least in some way, I suppose. Let's get up anyway, because there's loot at the top and this is a dead end. Oh, no. Let's see if I can get any good at this. No. Okay, I'm really bad at that. Let's grab this before I die. Oh my. <laughs> Not good at wall jumps. That's something we learned. But I am at 372 gold, which is something. Right, what's down here? We got a little angry spud there. How do I kill that? I presume I don't. Okay. There's a bell block there and here. Hmm. Is there a bell to ring somewhere on this level? Maybe. You see the bells? The green bell blocks. Hmm. Alright, well. There's just loot in this room. Let's go this way. What's in here? This seems like a fight. Oh no! That's a big boy! Okay, uh, shoot his bum. He's a bum shooter. Okay, got him. Oh god, he gets faster. Ah! Killed it. We're all 
good. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Let's keep going. What have we got here? Um, this is the end, I believe. Which makes me beg to question what was back at the start of the goddamn area. Ah, uh, we'll let it go. Grab my space shell. Crush it! Ta-da! We got a ghost gem! Eat it up, compass! Very satisfying, this. And away we go, with 682 gold. Pretty solid. And naturally it explodes when we leave, because why wouldn't it? So we get another treasure room, tough troops, there's a battalion on board, so there looks to be an alarm on this metal whale. This has got a bazaar. Let's go to the bazaar, I think that's fair. After all, I'm a bit bizarre. Mixing and matching perks is the key to a successful raid. Bosh. Let's go through quickly. Let's see how quickly I can finish the ship. That's my plan. That's a big fucker. Whoops. I'm accidentally, um, not very good right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing well. Perhaps mid-air would be a... Yeah, that might be good, actually. To get some accurate shots mid-air. Also, I've had a bomb for ages. I should use that bomb. Let me go down. Oh, God, no. Oh, wait, I need to pop the bubbles with my hook, right? Yeah! I got this. Um. There we go. Ah, oh, big guy. He's got missiles! Shoot the missiles. Oh my god. I'm very low on health. I'm not. I'm not. I, 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 the game's hard. But it's so fun. Okay. I got runny bomb barrel fox. That explode. Let's grab some money. Take it nice and slow. Okay, let's go. Let's go over here to the left. That's got to be safe. Right, a bazaar. Okay, we've got more shots. That's good. Okay, what we got? Something that will help me. Uh, an apple, that's probably health. Pirate zing, that's 10% HP. Pirate's pet, that sounds like more than... Oh, that was... oh, is that less? That's a jar. That's a crate. Let's get a crate worth of health. Yeah? 10 HP. Okay, fine. Let's get a bottle of health. 5 HP. And an apple. Okay, I bought everything. Fuck it. Money's no use to me right now if I'm dead. Let's go up. Whee! It truly feels chaotic, the sort of hook swinging, which is kind of why I like it. Because you've got that, like, the control to do everything you want to do, but also at the exact same time, you are literally flinging yourself. It's not a grapple shot, it's a hook shot. Did I do that? I think I did it. Oh, I'm in another fight. Okay. What have we got? Gun fucker. Okay, I can do gun people. Oh no, not good. Lots of the flies. No flies on these guys. Mm 
Pop that bubble! No! <laughs> but I'm level two, that's fine. As part of a roguelite, loss is inevitable. Black market? Cool! Welcome to the black market! Everything you buy here is permanent, making you a stronger swashbuckler. As a first visit gift, take these boots for free. Aim lock boots. Unlocks the aim lock ability. Press G to lock in place and aim with mouse. There we go. So you can buy more equipment, which will help you out and sort of expand your range of abilities. This is everything I started with. The bomb, I could get more perks. A shaving kit. It gives you more XP, apparently. That's interesting. I wish I could buy it, but I can't. I can't buy anything else. Okay. So we'll play again, but with the new aim lock ability. Should be fun. Oh, and we have a booster pack. And inside that is more perks. So we've got Moody Prospector. Find more gold when you break stuff. I'm going to grab that because I think that's just a useful perk to have. There we go. And that's all three of our perk slots filled. Let's start with our new pair of boots. Uh, this is a labyrinth. That's a treasure room. And that's got tons of food. We'll go for treasure in the first ship. And we'll see what we can do. Treasurium? Trezarium? Is that how it's said? I don't think so. Huh. We'll see. Bosh. In I go. So, aim lock. How do I... Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Mom, am I doing it? I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Sub weapons, Q, ease to interact. I think I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And I got more money for breaking stuff. Which is good, because that's basically all I plan to do. Alright, Mr. Grumpy. There's a big bird up there. Bosh. Combo's good for main... You, I think you get more gold based on your combo. Yeah, combo of six. I'm getting like five coins per one of these guys. There's a combo of seven. Another five coins. Yeah, I think, I think combos help increase the amount of coins you get, which is nice. Grab another bomb that I'm going to use. Oh, well, here's the perfect time. Well, I used it. Combo of 11 isn't great, but we'll see. Can I shoot these? No. Worth a try. Pew pew! Maybe you don't get more gold. I'm at a combo of 26. I'm still only getting two coins per one of them. Maybe it increases your damage? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. It's fine. We'll go this way. Oh, bell blocks that change automatically. Gotcha. Use the power of slow time if I need to. Or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me, I did it. Now, how do I get out? Oh. <laughs> right, okay, I see. I lost my combo. Ow. Oh, just... Mm. 
I did so well! Cursed! Alright, let's go back down after this. Uh, that's brilliant. Well done, mate. I need to use this slow time more. It is useful for landing perfectly. Uh, let's go up more. I know I've missed a room downstairs, but... Maybe there's a way that loops around? I don't know. Aha! Aha! I'm getting better at this. Sort of. I think I'm doing okay. That looks like a boss room up ahead. It's locked. Oh, but we've unlocked it. I must have picked up a key. Or just smashed it. You know me. Oh my god. I suck at that. There we go. Sorry, it's a good, it's a good song. I like it. It's also one of those songs that I've just realised that any combination of bums tends to go along with it. Like, you can just do any type of bums. And it, you know, like, you know, you know how, like, people's dads just, like, don't get the tunes and music? And, like, they'll just make shit up. That's what it is. It's like, you know, bum, 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 bum. You could do that and it would just match this song. It's that kind of brilliant songness. I think this is a boss I've accidentally stumbled into, by the way. Yeah, and I tried to hookshot it and immediately died. So I think what I've learned from this is that you, the viewer, suck. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be doing much better. Flint hook. It reaches further. That sounds that sounds good. Oh, it says fling. I can't read. Um I think crits are useless. Longer range grabbiness seems like a smart thing. Gauntlet, labyrinth, or library. Fuck it, we'll do a library. Maybe there'll be something good in there. This is my last try, and then I'm gonna call the video here. But this is a really fun game. I could play it for hours on end, seriously. And I'm probably going to play some of this for most of the day. It's a palpable soundtrack. It's an addictive gameplay loop. And the ability to mix roguelikes and metroidvanias, it's nice. It works, you know? Hello, you. I don't make food. The food. You don't like it. Not my fault. Okay. What's a shield do? I don't know. Funk. Sorry, that noise when you um come out of one of these is brilliant. It's like a thunk, but like a a, a a like a palpable. I don't have a word for it. It's really nice. Listen. Thunk. It's like being shot out of a pipe. It's a pipe shooty noise. It's a good pipe shooty noise. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Sorry, I'm enjoying the pews. The best way I can put it is if I had to describe this game. It is high blood pressure arcade fury that is brilliant. 
Oh yeah, I found the key. There we go. Yeah. Let's go in here then. Thonk. There's wizards. What did you do? Do you spawn bubbles? No, no, the bubble was, I wanna grab the, I can't grab the bubble. What? Oh, are you creating the bubbles? You are, ah, okay. Makes a lot more sense now. Wizard. Oh, literally a wizard, not just wizard as in cool. Pew pew. Oh fuck, it's the boss thingy. It's not a boss. It's a dickhead. <sighs> okay, um, get me out of here. Let's go up. Can't go wrong with up. I have the key. Um. Ow. Did I, did I do it? I used the key. I think I did it. I think I did this level. Okay, and then we'll funk my way back. Huh. Very close, nearly killed myself then with the bouncy wall. Thunk. Oh, it's just a nice thunk. I don't, oh, I like the thunk. Thunk. That was stupid. Ah, that's stupid. I'm an idiot. Fucking hell, I just ran into three of these explosive bird ninja men things. Let me go down where my thunks are good enough. Oh, I'm right next to the starting room. Okay. There's a down here and a right. Let's go right. Uh, this is a treasure room. Wow, so many things for me to explode. Oh no. Why did I do that? Don't explode barrels. Don't explode barrels. Don't explode blah 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 now. No. Mm hmm Does a bomb work? I'm gonna say no. One angry purple blob. Also, I have yet to see a single book in this place. This is a very shit library. Oh, is this a book? Hold on, what's this? Know how. A bit of experience gives you an XP bonus of 10%. Nice. Fleet feet. Oh, I'm quicker. Look at me go. And food. I'm, I'm good without the food, honestly. I'm doing okay. Ah, uh, he says. Failing to a spike wall. go up here, then out this exit, and then we'll try and head up if I can in this room. I can't. Oh, it's the library! I found it! There we go. Hi! You wanna talk? Books are filled with knowledge, lore about the cosmos. They also taste great. Okay! Unique perspective on reading. Boris Horace added to your lore collection. Oh, so the library's unlocked lore. Huh. How fun. Thunk. Thunk. Oh, it's so nice. I love that noise. Oh, there's lasers. Fuck. Wow. Pew, 
pew pew. There we go. Look at me move. This is probably a boss room. No, it's not. It's the one before boss. Okay. There is a squiddy boy over there. Oh, it's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. Stop stressing. I did it! Give me health, please! Get me out of here! Please, I need to leave this boat. Oh good, it's the end. Give me, give me all the stuffs, thank you. Space shell, let me crack it open. It's a gem! Oh my heart! It was not good there. I was very low on health and the, the spinny like laser was not it was not happy good times. No. Away. Free your quick hit from I didn't read that. Okay, so next we've got a labyrinth. A labyrinth followed by a gauntlet. Or a laser lattice with big blasts. I think we have to click on this just to see how cool it is. Uh, also, you'll see that we need three crystals to get to our bounty. So we have to do three missions. And this is the weakest one. So we'll see how this goes. Because I'm not good at this game. I love it, but I'm not good at it. Story of my life. It's like sex. Anyway. um, <laughs> Let's go left. Oh, there's lasers everywhere. That would make sense. And bombs. Right, so that's the style of this. It's lasers and bombs. Right. Um, okay. Be gentle. Laser bomb. Oh, yeah, grab that. It took me like a good couple of minutes to figure out that room. Oh no, it's a blob. Out this door, fuck it. Thonk. Oh, that was a laser. Okay, well. There's so many places to go. I fucked that up royally. Hello, enemies? Yes, enemies are good. Directly below them is their weakest spot, by the way, because they can't aim below them. Because they've only got one leg. And legs restrict you from aiming below your groin. That's why all one-legged people that I know struggle with peeing in urinals. My brain does not work, I swear. Pew 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 pew! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, fart on me! Wait, what? They calm down. Do they just get infinite health? Okay, they do. Okay. That was interesting. I was wondering if their health decreased so you could make it so they didn't blow up, but no. Nah. No. Nah. They get infinite health. You have to make them blow up. Oh my god, there's so much shit in the way. And these lot of vomiting bombs on me. Stop it. It is not very good. Think about the environment! Give me some health, please. What's this? Oh, it's the end! Hold on. Well, if this is the end, we can go back and do a little bit of exploring, right? No. 
No, I changed my mind immediately. Don't risk it. Just get out of there, boy. You suck. I'm not good enough at the game to risk it. If I found the exit, we go with it. I might get to show off a boss at the end of this video if I do it. The anchor, like the whole theme and style, it's, it, it's like good in a goosebumps way. I don't really have a word for it, but you know how some games are so unbelievably happy you can't help but enjoy yourself? That's what we're looking at right now. That's a Tough Truth Lockdown Labyrinth. That's a Labyrinth Rumble Room. And that's Bazaars with a Platoon. You know what? Let's go Tough Troops Lockdown Labyrinth. Let's go hard. You gotta finish hard. That should not be taken out of context. Jump higher or run faster or both. It's all possible by using perks. Ooh, lots of stuff to break. But don't break that barrel with the skull on it, Harry. You're smarter than that. I'm very good at not unleashing the monster. Fuck you, monster! Oh wait, you actually have tons of gold in there. Hold on. Thank you. Time to leave. We'll ignore that weird noise. That was the monster. Okay, you're some sort of fireball mage, it appears. Get that bubble guard. Get this bubble guard. Nice. Get this bubble guard. Nice. And then focus on the flies. Woohoo! I think I got better in it. 28 combo, yeah. I think I'm getting better at the game. Oh my lord, it's happening. Oh no. It's not happening, I changed my mind. Uh, down is a direction I haven't been, as is right. Let's go right, see if we can loop up. No, I can't, okay. No, I lost my combo immediately, that's not surprising. Hi bubble people. We have jubbly bubblies. There we go. Oh, it's porcupines or whatever they are. Platy put? No. Puffer fish! Porcupines! Oh, my brain clearly failed. Porcupine. Porcupines, of course. We unlock challenges and lore, and you can look in lore and learn about stuff like Varus Horus, the ghostly glutton. See? You can learn about stuff. It's on about a one-eyed pirate. Bless. And you got challenges, because if the game wasn't hard enough, there's literally daily challenges. And weekly challenges. And, uh -huh. and leaderboards, which you're top if you're actually good at the game. Unlike me. Uh, but yeah. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to play some more, but uh, I think this is probably where I'll call it. Let's see what we've got in my pack quickly. I get a pirate's deal, get special deals from shops. Hmm, okay, so a discount's fair. Maybe an expansion up here might be good. Oh, that's a question mark. Okay. Just ignore me. I'm an idiot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Much love from me. And I will see you next time. So check out this game if you like 
ridiculously fast Metroidvania roguelikes that are just not painful to play, but damn hard. But hard in a good way, good in a hard way. And if you get past the first boss, by all means show off to me because I suck. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Much love from me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.